Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our channel. We hope you all have a nice day. May God pour out His blessings on you and us. In today's video, we will be bringing you a message from Medjugorje, the prophecy of this end of time has come true this year, our God Saeed this would happen. Before we find out, let's spend a little time together in prayer, in the name of Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My God bless us with peace and give blessings overflowing with joy. Lord, I adore and love you with all my heart. Thank you for creating me, redeeming me, and keeping me safe through the night. I offer you all my prayers, works, joys and sorrows of this day. May everything happen according to your will and let your name be glorified. Protect me from all my sins and may your blessings always be with me and those I love. Amen. The elites are rising against God's plan for mankind. In the early days of her apparition, the Queen of Peace told the visionaries that the day would come and the West will make the advanced civilizations but without God and will act as their own creators. In 2023, more signs that this prophecy is coming true are starting to appear globally. We are witnessing a revolution of civilization. The economic elite decided to change the world, and also the people to create a more efficient world according to them. Everything that is happening on a large scale in the world is due to this movement. And what do they want? What is your plan? How will it affect the majority of the population? The world is witnessing the efforts of economic elites following globalists to reform the world based on technology, for their own benefit. This is not a lie or a conspiracy theory, but what the World Economic Forum says publicly is what it is trying to do and is making progress in doing it. So, all the large-scale things that are happening in the world today revolve around this project, which is meant to redefine humanity. It's really a revolution than ever because economic elites turned the tide. Instead of putting people first, they argue that we must move forward with technology, and this will change people. They prioritize artificial intelligence, robotics, Internet of Things, autonomous vehicles, 3D printing, nanotechnology, biotechnology, and more. They want to push technology until the boundaries between physical, digital, and human biology disappear. The main thinker of this process is historian Yuval Harari, who does not believe that humans have a soul, but rather a set of biochemical algorithms that have been refined over millions of years of evolution. He said that, biotechnology and information technology will give us the power to reshape ourselves. He asserts that we have now reached the point where the human brain has lost its place as the most complex in the universe. And that man is obsolete, because the world has become too complicated for our hunter-gatherer brains. The philosopher behind the Great Reset claims that our rights and religions are fantasies that will cease to exist as soon as we stop believing in them, as our experience expands. And what alternative does the elite following globalist offer us? Only one. Allowing ourselves to be governed and recreated by technology, as a new humanity, allows artificial intelligence to shape the lives of each of us and the planet, and allows the human body to coexist with machines. This new world, pursued by the global elite is exactly what Our Lady warned for years in Medjugorje. In what we call the Great Prophecy of Medjugorje, Our Lady said, the West will make civilization progress but without God and will act as its own creator. Today we have reached this point in the world. Father Livio often talked about this. But first, this is Satan's hour, that is his time. The apocalypse is before our eyes. The signs are clearly visible to all who humbly look at them. Our Lady is warning us of the danger of losing our faith. She advised us by telling us that we had rejected the faith and the cross and that we had become pagans. We ourselves are aware of all this, because we see it in our real life and we have adapted to life without God. The plan of the prince of this world is to get rid of the church to harvest souls, 
then send them to hell, and to destroy our lives and the planet on which we live. But Our Lady will prevent it. The Queen of Peace promised us at Fatima and now in Medjugorje that in the end Mary's Immaculate Heart will triumph. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil, may God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. O glorious Prince Saint Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts, Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits, Servant in the House of the Divine King and our Admirable Conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue deliver us from all evil, who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for watching and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us till next time. Stay blessed and keep praying.